Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Rumble. I'm Gaming Roy and we're gonna start out with Moonly Priory and we're going with Arcanine, which got Fiery Furnace, which in the last part actually, yeah, that's right. Um you will, you may notice that I have considerably a lot less money. Um that is because I I had like twelve thousand, I guess, last time when we left off. Uh this time I have a lot less than that. <laughs> um that's just because I was trying to teach a new move to Charizard, and I just couldn't get anything good. I mean, I ended up teaching him, at the very end, he got like a, what was it, Hidden Power and Ember, and the Hidden Power type was Ice, so that's kind of cool, but uh, other than that, he didn't really learn anything good. I was hoping he could learn more Fire type moves, but oh well. And I'm hoping also in this part to get more Pokemon at level 600, or Power 600, as we just got one there. But um, just because uh, um, I wanna, you know, obviously I wanna get more for more Pokemon for the Battle Royale, and we right now, as of now, anyways, we have only have three Pokemon that can enter, so or now four, but yeah, I'm hoping we'll get some real, some good ones in Eternal Tower, but I think we should be able to get some good ones here too. Here we have some, uh, actually, I'm pretty sure, actually, I'm not sure I've seen these before, but they're executors. There were, well, there were some executors there, but, uh, um, yeah, they're the all form of, well, I can't remember the name right now. Um, but here's, here's also some victory, victory bells, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, evolution of, also can't remember right now, sorry about that. There's that one move again, though. I mean, yeah, I forgot who saw that did that earlier, but I don't know. Some Pokemon was doing that Pokemon had that really long range move that looked pretty much exactly like that. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's not good. Oh, thought that windmill was an enemy, <laughs> or whatever that is. Doesn't really look like that much of a windmill. Some Pharaohs, evolution of a uh, sparrow. I think we saw some sparrows before too, so that's kind of cool. I think I mentioned that I do like sparrow a lot more than Pidgey. Yay, we got Pid or no Pharaoh. Oh, cool. Not not a level 600 or power 600. I'm just you know I'm just gonna say level from now on. I know it's power, but I don't know this level is easier to say and this. Sounds more, it's easier just with like a Pokemon game. So yeah, it's, I'm gonna say level. <laughs> if I'm, I'm pretty sure I've said level a lot more in the past, anyways. Also, I figured out what that healthy Charizard does. Um, the health, this is also the same Charizard I was trying to teach moves to. Um, it basically, it's just like a regular Charizard, except it, its HP grows back normally. I mean, it restores its HP back if it gets hurt. Not like, I'm not sure how fast, but. I would imagine not very fast at all, but still it does, which is pretty cool that we even got that one. Oh, and oh no, we're not dead yet. I don't know how we're not, but <laughs> apparently we're not. Yeah. How much HP do we have anyway? Oh, I'll check in a second. <laughs> it's because I want to die. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> that gust is kind of that move is kind of quiet for a second. They got all loud. I'm not sure if you're gonna hear that recording. And and then now we're dead. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. I guess I can shuffle that Charizard. Yeah, that's hidden power by the way. I'm pretty sure I've shown that off before, but. Each uh, Pokemon or type, I guess should, I should say, has their own special kind of uh, ability for hidden power. It's usually a type that has nothing to do with them, really. 
usually. I'm, I'm pretty sure there might be some that either have the exact same type or have a completely different type, but I don't know. Not too sure. I'm pretty sure in the actual Pokemon games, it doesn't like, in the type form, it doesn't actually tell you what type it is. It usually just says normal, but it doesn't mean that it is normal. Anyways, here's the boss. And, oh, okay, it's not who I thought it was. Although, if I think, if I think I know who this boss is, we have a ability that can beat him, and it is. Uh, this is the evolved form of Chikini. This is Dragon Pokemon Dragonite, and as I said before, Dragon Pokemon are weak against ice, so we might as well use that. And yeah, I don't know what its move is like. Yeah, oh, there we go. See how it heals? That's kind of cool. Yeah, I thought it wouldn't heal that much, but still, that's pretty cool. I guess, yeah, here's some Aerodactyls that, um, I'm pretty sure this is a boss earlier in the game. Like, even in this, no, I think it was A rank, but, yeah, that was a boss earlier. That's kind of interesting. And we got one, too, so that's cool. What's it doing? Is this running around? Trying to run away from me. Oh, whoa! I haven't seen that happen before. It's getting stunned. That's cool. I wonder if that that means that you'll like be able to get it if it's lower health. That's cool. If that actually does what I think it would do. Yeah, I think we got this though. This is pretty easy boss fight. And there he goes. And we got him! Cool! I wonder if that stunning actually helped with uh, getting him. And it says collect the money first, and then get him. And I'm pretty sure it's our new most powerful Pokemon too. That's pretty cool. I might have to use him in Eternal Tower. And I'm pretty sure it's our first Dragon type too. Anyways, yeah, Duck Tree. Er, Duck Trio. Uh, Dotrio is a new Pokemon for us. Pidgeot. Most powerful. I guess he ties with the other guy. Oh, he has a dark, dark move too. I guess we can use him in Turn Tower if we want to. Yeah. He has some pretty good moves. I mean, probably want to get rid of Slam though. I don't know. Let's uh, try it. Let's see what he is trying out, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Let's see if we can maybe teach him another move besides Slam. Waterfall. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, yeah, we'll replace Slam for that. I think that's good enough, though. I mean, we don't even have enough money to afford another one, but... Yeah, it's good enough. <laughs> yep, and now we're going to Eternal Tower. And, wow, that's, uh... That reminds me of that one other move. Um, that those champs were using a lot. Well, actually, not really, but... Oh, okay, I see. He actually kind of jumps into the air. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, it's cool. Kind of unusual for him to learn it, seeing that I'm pretty sure he's Fire and Dragon, so I don't know why he would learn it of all Pokemon. I wonder if that's a good way to avoid attacks, too. Yeah, and Fire Punch. I was reading about that, too. Like, it does. Oh, oh, get away from that. Oh, there's a. Ah, oh, cool. Oh, I can't read that. It says. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's our. Down to Alakazam, that's cool. He's pretty powerful too. Pretty powerful. I mean, I'm wondering if he can like use this like jump over other Pokemon to avoid their attacks or something. That'd be kinda cool. Cubone or Marowak. And here's some, there's some Gengar over here too. Oh, it's a special Gengar. A speedy Gengar. Oh, that's cool. Now we have two Gengars. These are trying to run away from us. I'm pretty sure psychic types like Alakazam and other psychic types have a... Uh, uh, less HP than most, and that Gengar has a pretty good move. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. Um, but I want to try to find that other. But 
what was his, what's his face? <laughs> I think he's right here actually. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. I wanted to use him because he has a dart type move and I think that'd be pretty good to use here. This was all the uh, ghost and psychic types. It's soon okay. I mean, it does have that multiple hit thing. That's always good to have. And also, I think this is a different version of room we've never seen before, actually. This is actually kind of cool. There's a thing in the middle kind of blocking the way. Like a, I guess kind of like a centerpiece type thing. That's kind of cool. What was this other attack? Fury attack. Okay. Fury attack usually hits multiple times in the, po po the Pokemon games. The Pokemon games. That's how you actually pronounce it. I'm hoping to get a Marowak just because, as I probably mentioned before, it is my favorite Pokemon. And there's one more Pokemon, or a couple of Pokemon left I want to get rid of. Or, I guess, a few. <laughs> I think we'll be okay for the Battle Royale, though. I think we had a good amount, good amount of Pokemon from the last this these last two areas even if we like die now we should be fine to go into it but I'm not just gonna do that even if I do die lose all my lives or whatever just cause that's not what I usually do so and that Gengar is pretty high level <laughs> in fact what moves does it have oh, okay that's pretty cool Alright. What do we got in here? The boss room. Oh, cool. And here is what was supposed to be the second legendary bird, but I didn't know what order it went in for Pokemon Rumble, but that's okay. It doesn't, you don't really have to go in order anyways. But yeah, this is the last bird that we... the last the bird that we haven't seen yet. It's uh, electric Pokemon Zapdos. Um... I kind of want to use... Oh, I'll keep, I'll keep, okay, I was about to say, I'll keep this Pokemon until we die, but I guess we are dead now. Um, I wanted to use, where is he? Yeah, this Golem, just because he's ground type attack. And that should do pretty good against him. I don't know what his move is. I mean, it seemed to kill uh, Dotrio in a very short time, so I'm going to try to stay away from him. And we're seeing to get him down pretty fast, though. So I think we have no problem with this boss. Even if we do take some damage. And there he goes. That was pretty easy. I mean, I guess we did die, but that was because I really wasn't prepared. And oh, we got him. That's really cool. Awesome. This is our first legendary Pokemon that we got. And I actually haven't gone off camera to get any other Pokemon. And he is really high level. Wow. Kind of excited to see what moves he has. Hope he doesn't have anything bad. Got some Alakazams, new Pokemon. Marowak, a new Pokemon. And... Uh, he, eh, it's okay, I mean... I'll try to teach something new. I'd rather have more electric types than it does than it has. That's cool, though. Yep, our first legendary Pokemon. So, I'm gonna try to teach a new move, and... Then I'll cut this video off and I want to teach it roar um, and then I'll see you in the battle royale that's what we can get uh, hmm I don't know I think I think I'll get rid of thunder wave for that that's because that seems kind of worth it okay that's kind of cool kind of like brings you back after you do the attack that can be kind of annoying but kind of good too that's cool. Alright, well, I'll see you next time when we're going to do the Battle Royale. So.